Hi, I am Ajay, co-founder Cloud Analogy and development head of Drag and Drop app. Today, let me quickly explain about the app installation and configuration process. We have our app drag and drop which you can easily go ahead and install it from app exchange all you need to type in is app exchange.salesforce.com and the app name which is drag space and space drop or you can also type in cloud analogy and you can search in the corresponding apps of cloud analogy so you can see a yellow tab on the right yeah this is our drag and drop app by cloud analogy You'll have to go ahead and click it and to start the installation process, you can click on get it now. As you are watching this video, I'm quite sure you might have already reviewed about the app, how it is working and all. So once you click on get it now, you will have to log into your Salesforce credentials. I would recommend installing it first in Sandbox and then installing it in your Salesforce production. But for now, let me go ahead and do the installation in Sandbox itself. So over here, you can select whether you want to install the app for a particular admin or all the users or a specific profile. And as soon as you hit on install, the installation process begins and you will get this message of installation complete, hit on done. And once you are in your sandbox, you can see, or in production, you can see uh, the drag and drop config tab. You'll have to click on pl the plus sign and you'll have to go to the drag and drop config tab, which once loads, you can see the two sub tabs on top of it, layouts and features. Now, in order to make sure that your drag and drop app works for a specific object, you'll have to select that object itself. In this particular case, I am selecting account. You can also select any custom object or standard object as you wish. To further configure the app, you can go to features and you can select several features. By default, most of the features will be selected and you can deselect features like download multiple attachment, delete multiple attachments, uh, might be critical to your organization and you might not be uh, you would not like to have your users to have this feature directly so you can configure those features and then the next step is you can go to the accounts tab and I'll let you know how you can configure this first in Salesforce Classic so most of you who might be having already Salesforce Classic might be aware of how the Salesforce Classic to Salesforce Lightning transition is happening. So you will have to go to that particular object tab, in this case accounts, select a particular record, hit on edit page layout and you can see this particular section. Under this you'll have to scroll down to the Visual Force page section and you will have to create a new section simply drag and drop the section add in a section name select one column as the size and drag and drop the inline vf page and make sure that you increase the height to 400 and you can also enable the scroll bar and as soon as it is saved for classic mode, boom, it is ready to be used. You can see the elegant look and feel of drag and drop section and all your notes and attachments will be visible under this drag and drop section. Now let me help to configure for those who are using lightning directly. So I'm quite sure they might be very new to Salesforce as a setup and have not ever seen the classic mode. So all you need to do is go to the app builder on the left. Okay, so first you will have to make sure that you are uh, you are going to set up 
and you are able to see the visual force pages so in under quick find type in pages and go to that particular section for which it was configured so if it was configured for account it will be under D under drag and drop account and in your case if it is any custom object so it might be drag and drop X object over here you can see a checkbox available for lightning experience just check it hit on save and boom you are ready to use now you need to go to accounts select any particular record similar to the light uh, the classic one hit on the wrench on the top hit on edit page and you will see the lightning lightning app builder yeah so this page gets loaded under visual force page so let the page loads and under visual force pages you can see the section drag and drop which will automatically come up and you can then you can yeah you can dr keep this on the top drag it to the left drag it to the detail section place it wherever you want to place it as per your need and as per what your uh, requirement is so once you have placed it remember to hit on save and activate now make sure that you do the same changes on all the different page layouts and for all those user profile for which you want to uh, let them have this awesome app to use finally we are done with the setup and the app is ready to be used by different users in your org and you can follow the same steps to configure this page in different other objects for this particular demo i have configured it for only for accounts and you can use the same thank you guys thank you so much do watch our next video